Hey, welcome back, everybody. Time for some more murdered soul suspect. I knew I heard something. What? What'd you hear? You didn't hear me, did you? All right, let's see what we're doing. Hey. Uh, <sighs> shit. You trying to give me another heart attack? Maybe. No, I, I just... You're already dead, so what does it matter? It was rhetorical, for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. Well, I mean, I guess not. Can you get on your computer? Nope. I'm sure you saw the whole thing, and that makes you special. Always looking out for you, sticking your nose in everyone else's business. Poor excuse for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes a chair more than me. Yeah, he does. Look at the curlers in your hair. Happy to stop talking. Oh. I'm trying to watch a show, you know. You get a better view of the street on TV. Well, all right. Okay. I honestly have no idea where I'm going. But it's kind of cool that I can, you know, come and go as I I'm please. Good. Ooh, case files. Collector one achievement. There are many types of objects to discover in Salem. Pay attention to your surroundings as you explore. Even the simplest paper can reveal secrets about Salem. I probably hear you talking through the ceiling. Ooh, I... Through the city of Salem has seen its rate of violent deaths increase sharply in the past few months. The Salem Police Department is unwilling to state officially that the deaths are connected. It's been a rough couple of months, said SPD spokesperson Ingrid Larson. Man, what a name. But it would be irresponsible to jump to conclusions about any of these deaths, much, much less the connection between them. We are investigating each of these thoroughly and making judgments based solely on the evidence. All right. Well, they do. Every time we visit what is that? this place, it's weird. It's the same weird characters. That other lady on the second floor, she changes boyfriends like she changes sweaters. Oh, well, hello. What's that? Ah, discover, reveal. Need six more to uncover the story. Okay, I guess that's what I need to do. Yeah, there's another ghost person here. Lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? No. You might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? That might lead us to your body. I know they were old people. And I know they lived in this apartment building. Other than that... Old people killed you? Easy. That's kind of weird. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. All right, then. for Jennifer to move out of this dump. Hope he doesn't ask any questions. He'll know I've tuned him out. Nice. That sounds about right, honestly. Oh, hello. Info about my killer, 2 of 39. While police are not pointing to, to a serial killer in the face of a string of deaths, they are advising people to stay home at night and to keep doors locked while at home. All right, so... What do they know about the murder of the girl in the laundry room? Maybe if I stopped bringing him snacks, he might look around the room to see if I was still here. Mysterious murder. Finally, he's a piece of quiet. All her parties. How can anyone sleep through music blasting like that? I think she was on drugs. Walter was so tired, he could barely stay awake for the five miles it took to drive to Smithwick Quarry. I couldn't believe he was able to find a pair of lock cutters that late at night. At least the music has stopped. Now we can finally sleep. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, but where is the body? Looks like the old man had something to do with the girl's murder. But why drive all the way to Smithwick Quarry? I messed up. That girl collapsed like paper when Grace hit her. Oh, so I still the woman hit her. She died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace so crazy before. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. The old man's secret. Apparently his wife is a bit of a temper. If she murdered that girl, where's the body? Okay, so... Staring out the window. What good's that gonna do? It does a lot of good. Look at that poor excuse for a man. Won't even get out of his chair. Likes that chair more than me. Alright. Now we need to find out... Oh, uh, that's... Controller vibrates every time I walk through something, so it's kind of weird. Gardening tools. Shelves, fertilizer, gardening stuff. Note. Uh oh. The neighbor left town in a hurry. Maybe they had something to do with it. I need one more clue and I'll have this thing solved. Where oh where is that very last clue? Ah. Newspaper. Kids are always breaking into the quarry. Why take such an interest in this one? Well, okay. While you can't attempt to answer your, while you can't attempt to answer to your primary question at any time, through exploration of the entire scene is often necessary. What happened to the murdered girl's body? Okay. So. Okay, I need to know what order the events happened. Well, that, that's not good. Because I know she killed him. So... Okay. Then he drove her out there. And then, now we have another one. Uh, obviously, I'm not a very good detective. I guess that works. Did not Looks expect like Grace that. Grace couldn't take the girl's partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. A watery grave. Interesting. Turns out. The reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwood Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? The parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> some people will do some crazy Thanks shit. For your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling I mean, me how I was messing up my life. You were, you kind of were doing drugs. never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. 
probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Maybe. Thanks again. But then old people are very mean. She moved on. Uh-oh, and an achievement. The missing body. Let me see. Let's make sure I got everything here on this first floor. Oh, yep. See, I missed something. Four more clues to uncover the story. Okay, well. Handy being able to walk through walls and everything else. What are these symbols that are on the floor and stuff? It's always interesting. Oh, okay, that might be symbols. Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. Alright, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. That's kind of interesting. Maybe she's getting too much sugar. I mean, that keeps kids awake, right? Hmm. Somebody's not too happy. Okay. Why are you haunting a little girl? Hey. You enjoy scaring kids? This little girl cost me everything. It was supposed to be a simple job. Easy money. What do you mean? She's just a kid. It don't matter what she is. Her daddy owed too much to the wrong people. She was just an insurance policy. Is that where you come in? A simple snatch and grab. After everything was settled up, uh, I'd let her go. Mm. I'm guessing it wasn't so simple. Never it is. Be, but she owes me now, and I ain't leaving till her debt is paid. Cut your losses. It may be a while. Don't worry. I can wait. I've got nothing but time, my friend. Really? Why, why would a ghost be that vengeful? That's kind of ridiculous. Specifically on a little girl. Shouldn't the girl shouldn't have to deal with that. All right, so I checked out that apartment. Why don't I check out this one? See what's going on here. Nothing. Nothing. Car shark. Keep cool, big boy. Next hand, you take her down. Three more to uncover the story. All right, so.
am I supposed to do here? Demons. If demons find you, they will hunt you down and suck your soul. Escape from demons. The residue of ghost souls hides your presence from demons. Hide. Hide to hide. You can move between hide objects to, to avoid demons. Yoink. Escape from demons. If demons can't find you for a while, they will stop checking and leave. Approaching demons. Hold the right button to see demons through walls. Remember to always approach a demon carefully. What happens if I approach him carefully? Execute the demon. You must approach the demon from behind if you want to execute it. Holding RT will attempt an execution. Alright, I guess I'm now a ghost that hunts demons. That's an interesting twist. I guess go I guess the demons cannot see through um, walls or anything. It's kind of awkward I guess, you know they are demons. What? I know for a fact I caught him. They're going after this guy. Hey, it's it's you. You're famous. Check out the TV. I'm good, thanks. But why can't adventures happen without going outside? First off, where's the next demon? He's over here, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Aw. Dude, really? You killed yourself? Shit. Why'd you do this to yourself, kid? Voices. Those fucking voices. I was scared and alone. I just wanted them to stop. Why didn't you turn to someone for help? Doctor or a friend or something. No one listened. No one took me seriously. This was the only way to make them stop. It was just so much noise. But it's quiet now. Finally quiet. I'm sorry, kid. It shouldn't have come to this. Never should. So I guess you have to hold down the the right bumper, and then sneak up behind them and hit the right trigger. And that's 
how you get rid of a demon. Well, that looks to be all the demons in the area. But that also looks to be all the clues and the stuff that's going on here. Well, let's make sure. Oh, can't go through that door. Okay, those are stairs. Oh, what the? I saw somebody here. Right? Somebody was just like right, right in that area. Why can't I read their minds? That's interesting. Oh, hello. I guess we're going upstairs. More demons up here? Okay, folks. I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. Kai got thrown out of a window. Why does everyone need the gory details? Yeah, who did it? Jeez, just tell them what happened. They'll find out soon enough. Hey. Yeah, we safe? will. Perp Who are those ghosts? They just vanish when you get close? That's weird. I need one more to uncover. Hey, Broyles. You seen that little girl that lives here? She turns up. You come find me. Got it? Baxter looking for the girl. There was a gun. Damn it. My mom gave me that gun. <laughs> Love mom. What was the killer doing here in the first place? What did I miss? Well, he, maybe he was masturbating. You don't know. That's what happens when people are alone half the time. detail. Pur purposeful searching. He was obviously looking for something. But what was he looking for? Meeting Ronan's parents. Packing or unpacking? Someone was obviously living here. Eh, mom's gift, my primary gun. There we go. Completed! For a watery grave. I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, rundown shithole. Usually. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally soggy, the pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Yeah, yeah, that was what was Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, 
and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Uh, Did this uh, guy take me for an idiot? Yes. I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do. So he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. He thought it could be an issue with a rusty boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. Uh-oh. I was shocked to find it completely empty. That's when wet footprints began to appear on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then, I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old, rusty boiler was a bloated, decomposing corpse. Awesome. The police are still investigating the homicide, and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market, and I doubt I'll ever feel clean again. I don't know. They may they may have a soap for that. Just saying. What would it be called, though? I mean, like a soap for traumatic events? It'd be, be rather awkward. Soul flush. Man, we gotta find. Nope. Let's see what we got. Missing purchase person status request. Please note this is the same Cassandra Fox who occasionally worked with Salem PD as a psychic consultant. Alright, so what that leads me to believe is that this killer decided to come out looking for her. I don't know how this will end. The killer is an enigma to the police and a lurking shadow in my own life. If only I can keep Joy from harm, I would do anything, even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. Concern for Joy's safety, okay. Of course it's shattered, you fell through it. What were you expecting? Teleporting window? Ooh. Stories of all worlds. Oh, okay. I thought she'd be kind of confident, you know? Maybe, maybe she was... Okay, I guess she was right. So there was a witness. Obviously it was the girl that uh, dude Baxter's looking for. Maybe, just maybe, we can find her first. I need to finish investigating before I go somewhere else. Oh yeah, okay. I need, what, nine? No, not nine more clues. Wow, my math sucked. <laughs> Seven more clues somewhere in this area. Okay, well, I guess it would help if I looked for these things. Signs of a struggle. I mean, yeah, there, there obviously was a struggle. You know, somebody's body came tumbling out of the window.
has to be, you know, five more clues somewhere. What are we looking for? Something's in this closet here. Obviously, it's not. Okay, five more clues. Where could you be? Why was the killer here? Maybe I can figure it out without so many clues. Hiding witness. Gotcha. Killer was looking for. Turn around. And then here I come in. You're under arrest. I totally get my ass. Kill somebody, that'd probably be the quickest way to do it. So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? Saw in the flashback, she went outside. Oh, now I have more questions. Where did the girl go? Out the window, we saw in the flashback. Right, what? Okay, what would make him move the photo under the table? clue to answer that yet. That's not very nice now is it? Oh, obviously the clue that I was supposed to use to get that specific thing was right there. Jesus Christ. Should get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert. bell. Okay, so I guess there's still some more stuff going on. Kids psychological drawings? Those weren't clues before, but I guess they are now. Okay, is there another clue in Maybe? Obviously we know where she went. We saw the picture of the of the priest, so Damn, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. So a child who knows a priest 
and as part of like some sort of uh, you know. Ah, you can receive psychic flashes from certain objects by pinpointing sounds, denoting the strongest psychic energy. I'm not hearing any sounds. Okay, the bell. Obviously, it, it, it's a you know psychic energy of the church. Oh, right. Do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always your deal. Well, there we go. Out the window. Gun me down in the street, and you didn't even check for witnesses. Like you're untouchable. He lifted you up with one hand and threw that you out a window. I need to find her. What person who could do that wouldn't think that they were untouchable? I mean, jeez. Alright, come on. Time's a wasting. complete. Find the witnesses. The witness is my only lead. I need to find her. The church is my best bet. Alright, well then. The day everything died for me. The end of forever. Bum bum bum. Harassed by Baxter. Face it. Baxter hated the guy. Yeah, the did. hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter, he isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but you don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. I guess that's one thing that somebody who works at a convenience store and a police officer have in common. They're never surprised when people do the stupidest shit imaginable. Because trust me, <laughs> I never am. Alright, well then. Oh, there's a ghost person there. Why do you disappear? What is your deal? So, the church is that way. Anyway, I can, aha, I can go through certain stuff, but there's nothing here to see. Okay, we're going to go this way. Uh-oh, there's a hide point. I'd accuse my boss of witchcraft in a heartbeat. Oh, I know people like that. Huh. Alright. No demons. I gotta find some way to get down there, it seems. The car tattoo. Hey, what's in there? How come I can't... There we go. Need 15 more to uncover the story. Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah, that can go faster that way. I didn't realize I could do that. <laughs> Where am 
my, this isn't right. <laughs> I don't even know how I got here. Let's <laughs> find out. I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I, I, I don't know how I got here, or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? Obviously you died. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> Look, I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. That's what she said. Um, I remember lots of people. And this rowboat. I, I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mana Hansen. Well, that's a start. Let me see what I can do. Alright, let's find out what's going on here. How did the lady on the beach die? But guys, I'm running out of a little bit of time, so I'm going to break this up here so it doesn't have to download forever to put up. Um, I'm just going to cut this off just, you know, shortly, and then I'll come back up. So hopefully you guys will watch the next one as I keep going. Alrighty. Peace out for now.